Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We're still on a tour of Eos, this lovely desert planet. And we're, uh, well, we've been rescued by PB, kind of. And uh, she told us we need to activate the rest of the monoliths because there, there appears to be a second one over there. And then a third one over there, which is interesting. The other interesting thing is that my sniper ri rifle actually indicates how far the thing I'm pointing at is away from me. Which is cool! So, uh, can I talk to PB? Fascinating, huh? Oh, this is the kind of stuff that gets you out of bed in the morning, too? Um, absolutely. Solving alien mysteries on hostile worlds? Do you need to ask? <laughs> A woman after my own heart. Says Following the woman that was on top of me. And we can both get some answers. Okay, so let's have a little chat as well, because why are you here? How did you get here? After what happened with the outposts, I didn't expect to run into anyone. I had a ride. I had to fudge the flight plan a little. The Nexus didn't want to risk anyone else. Or let people see how rough it got. Sad. But there's still so much here. And some of us want to find it. We didn't come all this way to sit on our hands. Or to shit on our hands. But remnant bots, how did you encounter them before? The bots were saying, you had names for them? I had to call them something. The observers fly around spying on anyone who touches this tech. The assembler ones make other remnant. Not sure how yet. Maybe manufacturing or 3D printing. And breachers smash into anything they don't like. Which is us. Easy to remember. Fair enough. And your name? Why do you why do you call yourself PB? Because it's short for something else. Is PB a typical Asari name? Never heard it in my hunter's days. Oh, you know things? Good for you. I know other things. It's a name. Good enough and short enough for now. Okay then. So we're gonna have to find that out. Because I'm guessing PB is gonna be one of our squad mates as well. We're hoping this tech can fix the atmosphere and make Eos livable. Think it's possible? Yes. Maybe. Possibly? This tech is so new. I mean, old here, but new to us? Who knows what it can do? How old is it exactly? It's been dormant for centuries, which I guess isn't actually that old. Huh. But long enough for conditions here to get royally screwed up, if they really are connected. So it's probably... They probably placed these things here before we even set out on uh, the Andromeda initiative. Is anyone else camped out on Eos? There's the cat, Clancy Salvagers, and one angry old man. Who do you mean? Let's just say he's here to squish Ket and doesn't care whose gear he tramples. Okay then. Interesting. So that old man we haven't seen yet. Well, I'll head out. Yes, so much to investigate. Let's get to it. Okay, so she's going to join us, I suppose. Let's get back into uh, into the nomad and get out of here. I think this I don't know how many people can fit in this thing. Seems like it can only hold two people. Maybe there's stuff in the back. I don't know. Um, let's see. Let's probably head to Oh, chef. That was interesting. Probably shouldn't go, uh... When they sent the first colonists down here, everyone was so excited. After all the shit the Nexus had been through, we finally had something to believe in. Then the reports came back. This time will be different. Yeah, I'm more than ready to believe again. Oh, shit. So that was Vetra's, uh... Opinion the on the data situation. On home, when everywhere was labeled H with a bunch of numbers. <laughs> Your dad put those readings up in his office. Knew them all by heart. Wonder what those worlds really looked like then. And now. Still don't really know what is four-wheel drive and what is six-wheel drive. Because in both options, the... So they're changing the size of the... Oh, shit, that's cat. Of the wheels, but... Did that ship just go through the mountain? That was interesting. 
So let's get him uh, up the hill with six wheel drive. So the terrain tires are six wheel drive and the normal ones are four wheel drive. How the hell do we get up there? Do we have a map of some sort? A map? No? There's a map in the middle. Uh, seems like there's actually two ways to get there. Let's go straight and then to the left and then we could probably put a forward station there which is good. So let's get back to four wheel drive and get this thing go- what the hell is that? I'm just gonna keep everything uh, I'm just gonna stay in the nomad for now because I think we're gonna get be able to get out once we uh, clear the atmosphere. Okay I'm gonna have to go around the rocks there we go. Oh, I can hold it. Okay, I can hold the boost. Never mind. Oh, shit. Jump for joy. Activating automated forward station deployment. Look there. That spot has shelter, water, stable ground. It was initially overlooked due to heavy kept presence at the nearby remnant structure, but it would be an excellent outpost site. Ket and remnant. Seems you can't find one without the other. So... If we clear the skies, this might be our new home. Interesting, because those rocks really don't seem like they should be still there. Especially those... That one over there shouldn't be there. Because he would have dropped a long time ago. So let's get back outside in the radiation. And if I'm not mistaken, we should almost be there. Yeah, there we go. Your mining computer shows Despite what? One folks were interested in the monoliths too. Did they learn anything? Mostly what you learn the hard way. But hey, now you're here. What the hell is this? How the hell am I supposed to read this? So there's... How the hell does this work? Because those aren't high readings, I suppose. Um... Oh. That... Did something. Okay. That did something, apparently. How the hell? Do we need to check anything else? Or was that the right place to do it at? Because don't want to drive down there. And the mining drone actually has quite a big radius. So yeah, let's let's just not do that anymore. And let's get inside of the facility over here. Can I drive in here? There we go. These ones don't seem hostile. Okay. That is weird. That they might be hostile once we start doing something. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, now they are. Sit down! Shit. Yeah, okay, never mind. High cover, fuck you. Sit down in the cover, Jesus Christ. Okay then. Yeah, okay. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, never mind. Holy shit balls. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, come on. We got this, ladies. Let's 
revive Goro. Jesus Christ. There we go. They are? Why do I still hear something then? Okay. Let's scan this thing apparently. And then uh, this thing. Acquired 50 remnant research data. That stuff. And then there's remains over here as well. Lubricant. We can always use lubricants. So that was incredibly difficult for some reason. Because we didn't really have any cover. They could destroy the cover we were behind. And we have multiple... I detect a high level of remnant encryption here, Pathfinder. Remnant you consoles. You will need to decrypt it. Okay. Do I need to do that here or... Anywhere else? Because there might be more... Glyphs around here. Okay, let's see. Remnant console. Decryption impossible due to missing glyph information. Okay. Okay, let's find these glyphs. There was something over here. Or is that the same thing? Interfacing SAM allows you to interface directly with remnant consoles to turn various devices on, turn them off, or make them work to your advantage. Glowing power lines indicate active devices. Faded power lines to indicate inactive devices. Okay. Oh, so I could have enabled cover. That is interesting. But we need to find those glyphs. There's stuff strewn around here. The power lines are leading up there again. So, okay. Where the hell is this going? Oh. That, did that, that seems strange. There we go. Ah, there we go. There's one glyph. And now, do we need another glyph or not? Scan for one out of two glyphs. So there's one over there as well. He's probably activated by this one because they're in the floor already. Interface. That did it. Indeed it did. And then we should get it on top of here. What the hell is that? Unknown resonant device. And there's the final glyph. That do it. I can get down here, can I? There we go. And then I'm just gonna get me some ammo, because I think... I think my, uh, yeah, my raptor was out of ammo. Because this thing is really powerful, but I don't have a lot of ammo for it. Um, interface. Let's see how this will work. Decrypt the remnant code by assigning glyphs to the grid. No row, column, or highlighted shape can include repeats of the same glyph. So this is a Sudoku. The one with the triangles, and then this one. I think that should be. There we go. Success. Not that hard. But I might skip those in the future. Because that's not really interesting to watch, right? That did... Whatever that did. I see pathways lighting up all over. The monoliths are resonating. QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, they're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more. Okay. Let's get back get into the... Uh, oh, shit. Seriously? Can't catch a break. Where the hell are they going? Oh, no, 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 no. I want to be in the center for this. Enemies incoming. Oh, shit, balls. Okay, that might be an issue. Oh 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, okay, I'm dead. Get down, get down. That is cover, isn't it? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna revive Cora here. There we go. I'm out of ammo. Yeah, bye. Jesus. That was heavy. Is it just me, or do cats seem to appear everywhere we find remnant? Heck. I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah, because that's that wasn't that big of an assessment to make, because it's been happening constantly. Can I use this one more time? Nope, I cannot. And I'm gonna have to settle for this one. There we go. Back to the Raptor. Full ammo, and then let's get back to the, uh, the Nomad. Because I am pretty mad at the moment. But these combat encounters are pretty heavy. There's something... Yeah, there we go. Did I actually ever scan one of these big guys? Nope. Well, the corpse is gone, so can't really check that anymore. Let's get back into the Nomad. There we go. So this technology on Habitat 7 was messing with the planet? We don't have all the answers yet. Don't expect any from the Nexus. They got a few reports, then the cat showed up. No time to study weird tech. Probably best to focus on the people shooting at you. Okay, so it seems we're at the next... That looks like a cat facility of some kind. ...spire, but... It's apparently filled with... Took over my best ...cat. Site. They won't let you near the monolith without a fight. Okay. And how do we fix that from over here? Because this doesn't look good. Clear the cat. Charge! I don't know if this is even gonna work. I can tell you one thing, it doesn't seem to work. Let's get out. Ooh, wow. Okay, that's one thing down. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get down, get down. I am healing a bit, but I don't know what these things are actually doing. Oh, there's another dropship incoming. Oh, with that large magazine, that thing is just keeps going. Yeah, called it. Okay. And I'm out of ammo. Oh, what? What the hell just happened? I'm just gonna slowly make, make my way up because I don't have any ammo at all. That is not doing anything. I don't just die again for some unknown reason. Did those things explode? Might have been one of those. That is one. Level up. Okay. Finally! Jesus! That was something else. Do they know we're here? So those things probably explode. And I leveled up, so I should 
be able to get a few more skill points in then. Uh, nope, that's the wrong menu. There we go! Skills! So I upgraded my tech skills already. So I added energy drain and over... I, no, just energy drain. And I put a bit in offensive tech. So... Hmm... Invasion. Infects opponents with an invasive VI-controlled machine swarm that weakens defenses and spreads itself to nearby enemies. That would be a good one. But I have four points, which means that I can get an extra one into... Yeah, let's put an extra one into energy drain. And then I have one point left. I'll confirm that. Let's check into biotics. I just put one into biotic power. That should be fine as well. Then check out Korra. She should have two points extra. Which could enable her Nova ability. And then we have Vetra. Who's more of a tech and a combat skill woman. Um, the concussive shot is alright. So I'm just going to improve her survivability. And that is that. There we go. Okay. Kind of getting to know my abilities a bit better. Uh, so now we need to get inside. Fight and disable the generator, powering the shields to access the monolith. More loot on the way. And let's take a look. Because uh, this should have been a gauntlet of some kind. I never actually checked out anything around here. So I need to start scanning. So that seemed to be all the same thing, so I don't need to scan that again. Although that seems to be something different. And that as well. So let's just turn this out. Fix. That's not deactivate. There we go. And then uh, anything else? That thing seems to be new. Gained 100 Helios research data. Okay then. That is a lot. Huh. They've got the monolith well protected. We'll need to cut that shield's power supply. And that should be right over... The hell is this? Ah, there we go. That's probably it. Deactivate. Let's get inside. Let's get to it before there's any more cat. Brat. Holy shit. Hi. Who's Drac? A Krogan, it seems. Hi. Hello? Are you friendly? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Take it easy. Who are you? Um, impressive entrance. That was pretty cool. Huh. Well, yeah. Guess it was. <laughs> Still haven't told me who you are. That is right. Oh, come but on, I'm going Drax, to in a second. That. Vetra, what are you doing here? Okay, so you guys know each I'm other. with the Pathfinder. That Pathfinder. A friend of Vetra's, a friend of mine. Yeah, okay. Thanks for releasing My me then. My name's Sarah Ryder. And you're Drac. I'm Drac, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? Uh, holding our own. <laughs> Exploring. Checking out these monoliths. The cats seem pretty interested in this one. Looks like you cleared it out for us, though. You sad I didn't save any for you? Nexus a little bit. shit about the cat. They think they're safe. <laughs> but they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now, taking out Ked bases, fighting ground troops. Yeah, I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, Drac, we could use someone with your skills. Tempting as that is, Vetra, I'm a little too old to be carrying humans through a fight. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the Ket keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the Ket are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. 
Remnant? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. So he's an old crow. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm stupid. So he's the, the cranky old man that BB was talking about. Interesting. Okay, so now we need to scan for more glyphs again. Gonna have to do that in a second. Do wanna take a look around here? Maybe there's more stuff for me to scan. Like that inconspicuous crate. Anything else around here? Component. This component was security tagged for site two. Looks like they had some sort of special project going. Let's find the rest. Okay. He was tortured. Nexus didn't mention anything about this. We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there. Too many. Lexi, update Nexus records on Anton, Darren T, and get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If he's got family, they deserve closure. Indeed. We'll give them more than closure. We'll finish what he started. Why is the Andromeda Initiative keeping that a secret? Exsanguination, so they drain him of his blood. Multiple incisions and bruises suggest the cat performed an autopsy while the victim was still alive. DNA matches initi initiative member Anton Darren T. Okay, let's activate this. Necropsy. Only the title of this message can be clearly translated. The rest is written in cat script. Only a few words can be translated without more language study. Lesser species, unremarkable and disposable. A field log, Pathfinder. Issued to patrolling cat. I don't need a translation to know when I'm hearing a monster. Adding to language database. Okay. And then captured notes, fired at it just for fun. I take a few hours of sustained fires to take off even a chunk. Those observers started to out of the shuttle. The stuff is heavier than it looks. Without biotics, I'd really be in trouble. Last time I dropped it on... Mm, kicked over my senses again, getting to cover those white bony jackasses aren't. So that's probably Anton's notes. Research findings and intruder alert. This lesser idiot by tomorrow and Krogan. Okay. So that was a talking about Drac, probably. Anything else? Seems to be that thing over there. And then we it should... Fun. Okay. No, nobody has any remark about that? Or, or our, uh, is Vetra too far away? Hello, guys? Gonna pitch in? No? Okay. Never mind. Is this openable? Oh, just goes outside again. So let's head toward the monolith. Let's see what we can find over there. Need to make up for some lost time after those failed combat attempts. Any robots over here? Because that might happen again. Doesn't seem like there are any at the moment. Let's scan this thing. I was scanning something, but probably up there again. So there's one up there. No. Let's check out the back of this one first. Might actually just be able to scan it from over here. Or is it? Oh no, it's going over there. Um, can I... You can head outside quickly. There we go. There's one glyph. And then we need to head towards that one actually. Oh shit! Oh, that was okay. Apparently not that painful as I thought it was gonna be. Up here and scan the next one. There we go. You should now be able to interface Pathfinder. Let's do that then. Let's solve another Sudoku in one, two, three. Interfacing. Or not. Do I just... Apparently I just activated it. Done. The monoliths are online and connected to... Something in the lake. This could be the master switch we're looking for. I'll meet you there. Don't do anything without me. Jesus, this keeps going. Oh, that was outside of my... Yeah. That's out of my positive sphere. Let's take a look. What did happen? Something in the lake. 
And something over there, alright. Just quickly gonna try and check that out, but I need to head towards the, the Nomad for that first. So give me a second. So we can actually place one of those uh, outpost thingies here. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. So I'm hoping that actually heals the Nomad again, because I damaged it pretty severely when I crashed into that cat maze before. Oh, there we go. Viability My increased. Has been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Oh, that's another cat ship. I'm gonna ignore those for now. What the hell? I think it's easier accessible from the other side over there, so... It's weird to think that if we pull this off, everything we're looking at could change. I like those pre-trip vision paintings of future EOS. Green fields, rivers, forests. Wonder what it'll really be like down the line. Your death storms would be nice? Yeah, that's, that's a good idea to start. Okay. Looks like... Looks like we need to head to this console again. Up there, coming out of the lake. The tech's underground too. Let's see. Um. It's opening up. I see a door. Come on. Oh, there's a bridge. Just gonna head inside of the the nomad again. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. It's Forming a bridge. Looks solid. If not, prepare to swim. Radiation hazard level. Okay, let's go inside. Hello. Let's open the door. That's all good. The Lady Squad. No. No, this can't be right. All that fanfare for an empty room? There's it's some secret probably here. not just there empty. There must be. Do your Pathfinder thing. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, we oh, didn't do anything yet. Good. Um, that wasn't me. I didn't do a thing. That's a long way down. Can't tell how far. Okay. That can't be air pressure. Electrostatic? Ah, gravitation. Oh, you idiot, PB. That wasn't the front door. This is. Oh, jump. I'll let you know. <laughs> Beat you to the punch. <laughs> Vetra isn't so sure. Oh, there she goes as well. Come on, Cora. It's acting like a gravity well. But where's it taking us? Still it going pretty unknown, fast. Rider. Now this is more like it. Looks like a bunker. Or a vault. Whatever you call it. The controls for that atmosphere processor might be down here somewhere. Let's find out. This looks Anything fancy. Important. Let's be thorough. Wow. It's pretty nice in here. Um, but with that done, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed I the episode. That gravity well works in reverse too. Okay, if you enjoyed the out. episode, don't forget to like it right already. here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't controls. forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again, enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video series. Goodbye. No signs of any cat. Maybe they can't get into the vault? <laughs>